Last year, I was thrilled to share an exciting new toolset found in SOLIDWORKS 2019 called Structure System. This great functionality allowed us to very quickly model complex welded assemblies, much faster than using traditional weldments. In case you need a refresher, check out this video. We'll put a link below in the description. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, we see some terrific improvements to this toolset that allow us to use more reference geometry to create our welded frames, to split structure members, and to pattern entire structure systems. Using these new enhancements, we'll be looking at creating this welded structure using only this reference geometry. Let's dive in. We'll begin creating this structure by creating primary members. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, members can now be created between pairs of sketch points, allowing us to quickly chain together members along a series of points. Using the new Up to Point option, we can create members that all converge at a specific point. The Up to Plane option will terminate members at a selected plane. By default, this member will extrude normal to the plane, but we can easily specify a vector to define a different direction. Secondary members will connect between primary members. Let's go ahead and add some that lie in each plane. Select a new size and redefine the pierce point so it runs through the top of each beam. Let's define another secondary member using the between points method. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, we can now split members by dimension, instance count, or by selecting a reference like a face, plane, or in this case, a structural member. Let's rotate this member too. Just like in 2019, when we exit the Structure System command, the Corner Management tool opens automatically. We'll adjust our simple and two-member corners to ensure full contact between intersecting members. For the complex corners, the Trim tool has been calculated automatically. We can see that the members are trimmed exactly the way we'd like. In SOLIDWORKS 2019, this is where designing this structure would become more difficult. It's easy enough to create a circular pattern of the bodies we just made, but what about when we want to connect those pattern bodies back to the originals? This is where SOLIDWORKS 2020 revolutionizes our workflow. When we create patterns, instead of just patterning the bodies, we can now pattern the entire structure system using either linear or circular patterns or mirror features. Patterning the entire structure system instead of bodies maintains the built-in intelligence and allows us to use additional structure systems to connect them. In this case, we'll create a separate structure system to define the perimeter members. Secondary members are added using the support plane method between the original structure system and the pattern members. Upon exiting, the corner management tool this time defines the interaction between the original structure system, its pattern, and our newly created structure system. To complete the design, we'll simply pattern this second structure system. With the introduction of these new features in structure system, SOLIDWORKS 2020 continues to help your design process become faster, easier, and more efficient. For more information on SOLIDWORKS 2020, contact us at Javelin.